George Truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Telefero. I want to salute that boy Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty's got a new, not only a new record, but a new music video as well. That bad boy's called Oprah's Bank Account. And I like the record a lot. That thing's starting to grow on me. Uh, Lil Yachty got a little bit of help from one of the game's biggest artists and one of the game's most upcoming artists and Drake and the baby that are both featured on this Oprah Bank account record. Now in the music video, Lil Yachty plays a character named Bopra, hence Oprah's bank account, in which he's sitting down doing an interview with Drizzy Drake and Drake's kinda clowning Lil Yachty's career. It's a parody video, right? And because Lil Yachty opted to play this Oprah character, throw on the wig, put the dress on, put the heels on and all that. He's receiving a lot of backlash online. People are criticizing him. But as a matter of fact, one person hit Liotti on Twitter and was like, in my opinion, you don't need to wear no dresses or wigs to sell. You created your own lane. How am I supposed to take this, all right? Liotti responded by saying, bitch, it's just supposed to be entertaining. It ain't that deep. Y'all niggas so in denial with y'all masculinity. Shit like this bother y'all. Relax. Now... I am 26 years of age. Keep in mind, most of my life I've been around gay people. I am a straight male. I'm in a relationship. Uh, I'm close to being out of the game. I'm close to engagement, right? So again, I've been around gay people. I work with a lot of gay people in my life. I'm past that stage of where I was in my younger age where gay used to always bother me. I got over it. I matured. I, I, I think a lot of people out there, men and women, need to get over it. Need to get over this gay conscience. You, you're so you're so mad at gay, you can't even live right. A lot of you, especially you dudes out there, I believe y'all need to deal with y'all sexuality on, on y'all level. Because if we want to have a conversation of what Lil Yachty just did in that music video, I want to have the conversation in totality. If you ask any black person you know, what's your favorite show out there? What's your favorite show all time? I guarantee you, they don't name five other shows outside of Martin. Martin will be in that top five. For a lot of people out there, Martin is their favorite show. So wait a minute. When Martin played characters like Shanene, uh, you you still watched it. As a matter of fact, you laughed even harder when Martin played characters like Shanene. So let me get this straight. Because you like Martin, and because Lil Yachty's a new school rapper, you, you don't like when Lil Yachty does it, but it was cool when Martin did it because Martin is cool and all everybody watched Martin, even the OGs watched Martin. It was funny when Martin did it. I thought Lil Yachty had some great comedy, even laughing at himself in that Oprah's Bank account video. Well, somebody hit me and tell a pharaoh, they'll be like, yo, it's in the Bible. Bro, you ain't supposed to be gay. Let me ask you a question. When do you niggas ever read the Bible? So now all of a sudden when it comes to gay, again, I'm a straight male, but I can see things unbiasedly. I hate when you niggas throw the Bible in my face in regards to gay versus straight. The only time you niggas ever bring up the Bible, literally you sin for 85% of your day. But when it comes to gay, oh, oh, oh you do, in the Bible, the Bible said, uh, John Corinthians is the 317, John, th 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 for God's love. You throw the Bible in my face when it's gay, right? I think a lot of people need to deal with sexuality. I think a lot of men are fighting back their own temptations. See, when you get to my side of the world, now, I don't make gay jokes and all that. I don't Charlemagne it. But when you get to my side of the world, you're comfortable in your own sexuality. You don't have to be so gay conscious all the time. I'm comfortable over here. I'm cool. A lot of men, women are not comfortable in that, that bubble. I'm not pushing a gay agenda. I am raising my kids to be a straight male. But at the same time, I can respect one's decision and not judge them because we want to play the biblical game. Uh, a lot of us sin throughout our daily lives, and, and I don't want to just pick one sin to, to focus on. You got to grow up. I, you got to grow up. There's going to be gay people until you leave this earth, until I leave this earth. I don't think Lil Yachty was promoting gay culture. He was having fun in a mu music video, just like back in the day. Martin used to do it, just like Jamie Foxx used to do it. But we appreciated that comedy because it, it was just, it was all giggles. But Yachty can't get away with it because he's young. He's a what, quote unquote, mumble rapper. He puts the color in his hair. Doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. And don't dodge my question that I'm asking, all right? How come it was acceptable for Martin to be characters like Shanae Nae, for Jamie to be different characters as well? 
But when Yachty does it for the Oprah's bank account video, there's a problem. Some of y'all could learn something from your kids who ain't as gay conscious as you are. So quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Teleferro. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Teleferro. Mr. Teleferro. Teleferro. Shout out to Mr. Teleferro. Watching Mr. Teleferro TV. Mr. Teleferro TV.